Welcome again to our online videos on Microsoft Excel. Uh, today we've talked about uh, how to join text and other numbers uh, in Microsoft Excel using the uh, codes like this ones. So today we are going to continue in our lessons that is to work on the if statement. Uh, from if statement then we will go to the VLOOKUP. The if statement allows you to make logical comparisons between conditions. An if statement generally says that if one condition is true, do something. Otherwise, something else. The formulas can return text, values, and even more calculations. So we are going to give it an exercise right now to say if, if the data in cell C9, which is this one, is an apple, then we want you to tell us it's true, otherwise then it's false. Okay? So that is what we want and we want our answer to be true because what is there is true. So this is what you type in your formula bar, uh, in your formula. So uh, it tells us that if the cell, uh, if cell C9 is equal to apple, then the answer we want to return is true. Otherwise, then it should be false. Okay? So I want you to type this and let's find out whether this formula is going to go. So let's say equals to equals to if bracket open cell C9 which is this one then we say equals to in quotation mark the word apple is what is inside this then we put a comma we will we want the return to be true otherwise comma it should be false Okay, then we close our bracket and let's see what the answer is going to give us. The answer is going to be true because what is inside here is definitely apple. Let's change the apple to orange or to mango. Or let's say banana. It's going to be false. So I want you to give it a try and enter this one as well. Okay, so uh, please give it a pr practice exercise. This is just the first part of it. And then you can change it and make sure you either do it yes or no. You know, this, if you go through all this, you'll be able to find out more things that you can work with this if statement as far as uh, it is possible. Okay, if you go down here, you can also find out more uh, exercises that you can practice before our next lesson. And please read and then you try to practice, follow all these exercises as well. Huh? So I will leave it here with you. Thank you very much until we meet in our next class.